Well, look, good to see you back sort of fit again and, and pain-free and ready to play again. Yeah, it's been uh, probably a little bit longer than expected. Um, had a little setback. I was quite close to getting back after sort of four weeks. But, uh, like I say, glad to be pain-free now and, and back in the mix and really chomping at the bit to get back involved with the boys. And how was the 45 minutes last Thursday? Yeah, it was, it was good, actually. I enjoyed it. Again, good to be back in and around the dressing room. It's never the same when you're not involved. Uh, I'm sure everyone would say exactly the same. Uh, we all want the same outcome, a winning team. And when you're in the team, you feel like you can affect it. It was a bit harder for me watching, especially with us. Obviously, the results haven't quite been as, as, as good as we were at the start of the season. But we all feel like if it is a bit of a, a, a blip, we've had it probably the right time. And we've got a lot of games coming up now with everyone becoming fit. and. We feel like now's the time to sort of get back on a good run and uh, start getting back up that league. You see the results haven't been quite as good, but there haven't been many defeats in there, no. just rather too many draws probably. Right? Yeah, I think so. We look back at you look back at the league table, we've still lost, is it the, the least amount of games? It's probably Exeter have got five, yeah, five and Exeter probably four, is it? So credit to the lads with that. We just obviously haven't probably seen games out. I think a few games I came to see at home that... We might have gone on to win games after scoring after 70 minutes, getting it back level. So, But we're, we're working on a lot of different things now. Teams have worked us out, maybe, and we need to adapt to the way we play and work out different ways of scoring goals. And hopefully now we've got everyone fit, we can we can do that. Anything stand out from your previous trips to Bradford? Uh, no, I've, I haven't been there many times, to be honest. I played them pre-season one time with Blackburn, if, if I remember. I remember Jordan, P Jordan Pickford playing, that was about it. That was the highlight of that game. And then I think I played there with crew years ago. I think I, think I nicked a goal that game. So, yeah, it's always a good place to go. I'm passionate about the football up there. And the game at our place this year was a, a good one to be involved in. And I'm sure they'll be desperate to get, a, get us back for that. But... Uh, I remember watching the game, I played in it, but I felt like I watched it because we played so, such good football and uh, it was a, a great game to be involved in, but uh, it's a big game for both parties now. I think um, they've, they'll they have expectations of getting out of this league for sure, um, probably even bigger than us, but we're going up there uh, hoping to uh, have a reaction after the crew game. So. Do you think, personally, having had some time out, that I wouldn't say you've got some catching up to do in terms of contribution, but you contributed so much last year that you probably think, well, I, I want to at least try and get to that level again. Yeah, well, my aim was always to improve on last season anyway, so disappointing to get the injury, of course, but uh, it was something that probably needed doing, and, and I still feel like I've, I've probably missed the same amount of games as I did last year anyway, with obviously starting late, so if I can stay fit and, and play as many games as possible now, I still feel like I can contribute exactly the same way, if not more, as last season. After only having that 45 minutes, if you saw your name on the team sheet at Bradford in the starting 11, you'd be happy with that? Yeah, yeah no, with I, that? I spoke to the gaffer about that. I think um, the 45 minutes was always a case of just, you can do all the training in the world, it's, it's always said, it's a bit of a cliche, but you can't really you can't really put it to training, it's not exactly the same. So the game was just the intensity and I've, I've had probably two weeks now of conditioning work with the 45 minutes. So. Yeah, I feel like if you ask me now, I'd be ready to start and definitely play some part. And from Michael's point of view, Ruben's almost in the same position. Yeah. So almost for the first time for a while, he's got the two of you available. Exactly. I think that's what I say. The beauty of it now is that we've got to try and stay fit and we'll have a great chance. I can see I can see us scoring goals in different different ways. Obviously, with Ruben and myself and Alfie's coming and done brilliant. Lloyd, he came on and affected the game last game I went to. So, And Tav's obviously been putting his bit in, especially at Crew when he came on, he looked, he looked really good. So these lads are desperate for starting places and Alex is obviously the top scorer, been out suspended. So we're all, um, uh, I've spoke to Alex quite a bit about it now. If you're not doing your bit, you're not going to be in the side. So it's important now that the two that are playing are scoring the goals and contributing. Just an a word about Alfie. Um, uh, when Cheltenham signed him, my first thought was, he's a terrier. Is that a good description of him? Because he doesn't give... Defenders a minute's piece, doesn't he? Yeah, he is. He, 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 uh, to be fair, how we play, we sort of we back off and sort of look after fullbacks. But how Alfie plays, I think we're going to make things happen. You know, getting after the ball. His uh, his second goal, I'm sure he did did the block and then ended up scoring the goal again. The last home game, so yeah, he's he's going to make things happen. I think, and uh, hopefully, if I'm up front with him, we can sort of bounce off each other. 
and I'm sure every player will benefit because, like you say, he works his socks off and it can all benefit us all.